Okay, so we're going to take this to this. And I wanted to share with you today how we're going to make this butcher block table into a desk. We've been looking at our options on what we could use to make a desk. We didn't like a lot of the kind of traditional looks, so we've come up with our own. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we need to get our supplies together. You'll see here that we have our butcher block table. To start off with, we found a beautiful chevron pattern just by accident at our big box store. And then we got our legs online. And along with that, we ordered our filing cabinet and the other supplies you see there. So you'll notice we have some sanding paper there, also some grommets and something to apply the poly on. But we didn't use that board that you saw there. Now here, I'm just making sure that all of my measurements are even all around the edges so I have a nice center base and then I'm following it around with the pencil so that I can make sure it doesn't shift while I'm drilling. Now I'm just pre-drilling all the holes so that I can easily put the screws in afterwards. Of course, you'll want to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that all of your measurements are exactly the same on both sides. Now, since our desk is actually going to be eight feet long, we decided to put a filing cabinet in the middle as extra support. And it's a two person table, so that's why we're going with this approach. So here I'm just getting the exact measurement of the butcher block table so that I can find the center point where I want to put the filing cabinet. Now as you can see there's a gap so I need to fill this gap so that it will actually be supportive and I found the exact material I want to use. I'm going to use a 2x4 and I'm just getting that measured up and ready to go. I also am using some scrap vinyl flooring that I had left over. Now I'm just cutting the 2x4s to the size of the filing cabinets that I measured. Then I use the 2x4s as almost like a template to cut out the vinyl pieces that I need. Now it's time to secure them to the bottom of the butcher block. Now I'm just making sure all my measurements are good, so it's evenly spaced on both sides. Can't help but be happy. Got through the first half of this project. So here I'm measuring to put the grommet holes in and I'm measuring from the legs to the filing cabinet and I'm putting it center from there because that's where I want my cords to go through so I can hide all my little computer cords and make this a nice sleek desk. And since this is a two-person desk, I'm trying my best to make sure all the measurements are uniform. Okay, now that we've made a huge mess, we need to get it all cleaned up. That means getting all the dust and everything off. An important part of this cleaning process is using denatured alcohol. And the best part of this is that you can actually see what the wood would look like without even staining it. 
just putting the polyurethane finishing on it. A, uh, one big mistake that people make, according to experts, is that they stain beautiful wood. And it didn't even need to be stained because it was just naturally beautiful. So I chose not to stain at all. And I'm just putting the polyurethane coating on and that's it. And I went with the wipe on just because of the chevron cut of it and I just felt like it would be a smoother sort of approach for this pattern. So I'm using a special cloth for this sort of thing and I'm trying to keep it in still in the direction with the grain of the wood. So this is the end of our project. As you can see, we were able to fit two chairs here and it's very comfortable. It's just the right size for us. We even included our filing cabinet here and we attached it with the two two by fours in the middle as you saw, which is great because we were able to hide all of our cords right in the middle of it. And we also painted those boards on the front and back side black to kind of hide it uh, so couldn't really tell what it was. And really, we're just so thrilled with the outcome of this table. We're just really excited and it's exactly what we wanted and we'd love the finish. And this was without staining it at all. It just brought out the, the color of the wood and we're just really happy with the outcome. So we hope you really enjoyed this video and you got some great ideas from it too. And if you're thinking about doing a butcher block desk, I think it's a great idea. So anyways, stay tuned. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Simple Fixes. Be sure to subscribe and share and like.